All right, everybody, this is James, and he's going to show us his cargo trailer. Okay, how do you hook that up to your vehicle? Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's a regular hitch. Um, and when you back the vehicle up... How do you know you're backing it up the right... <laughs> getting the right... There's a camera on the back. <sighs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, like it... I mean, and you can zoom it in so that you can actually yeah. see where it is. Yeah. And um, unless you're on like a steep hill, but like flat like this and all that, it's pretty straightforward to be able yeah. to back it up and then because it's a small trailer yeah you can easily move it right like lift it or move it a couple inches and yeah no well, some people would easily. be able to i probably yeah. would but yeah okay cool all right let's go look inside so this is bobby holes I bought it from bobby down in florida and it holes right on and um, basically what we've done is uh, we've put in um, a murky bed on a little pulley. So once I take all the bedding So out, those cords that are coming down? Yeah. So, sorry, I'm on the front drive, but... Yeah, I should have lighting for this kind of thing, shouldn't yeah. I? <laughs> so, so yeah, there's a little pulley system up here that has a uh, rope oh, yeah, that goes that. to the other side. It's just a little piece of plywood underneath the foamy. It's like a little um, ooh, three inch, four inch semi-dense foamy. So you got obviously a uh, uh, decent pressure relief. Yeah. And uh, the pulley uh, attaches to the other side of the um, plywood. And I can easily pull that up. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. And it just kind of attaches down here on the corner. Okay. So it actually folds. It folds. Spinning. It folds up into the wall. It folds that up. wall on that side. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. And the reason you want that is because the um, it's very it's kind of hard to see, but there's bins. I've got three um, just oh the ones that are out there bins. That hold, you know, the stove and the barbecue and the plates and cutlery and camping gear, and then of course one great big one for the bedding. Right, that at goes up at the front. Yeah. Yep, and it. So when I'm loading everything in here after the bed is up on the wall, I can load a hand cycle in here. I can load a bicycle, all of my camping gear and everything. I've got a little stick here on the side. Okay, and it's got a hook on the end of it. It's hard to see it because it's a little dark, but that hook, I can grab everything out of this trailer oh. from here. Oh, right that on, bin, right from the, the outside here. everything. Huh. I mean, obviously it's easier if you have an AB, but if you're by yourself, it's still functional. Like Unfortunately, set... you travel with an AB. Do yeah, you want to define AB for people that don't know what AB is? Able-bodied? <laughs> but I set this whole thing up myself today or this weekend because yeah. my girl wasn't here right yeah. so you it's it you can do it yeah and you know loading it all in is a little bit more challenging but it's still I mean you work within your limits right you work exactly. within your abilities and I like the shelves up there because that's probably gives enough clearance for the bed to get by oh yeah there. definitely yeah that whole that it's hard to see because I got the, everything laid out right now and I'm not about to go and put everything up, but you know what I mean. It's, yeah. So what, and that's your light for inside there? Um, that is a, unless I hooked it up, it's a non-functional light. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, what do you cell do phone, for, oh, cell, cell phones? Okay. Flashlight is more efficient anyway. So. What about toilet? Uh, no toilet. Just outside, whatever, where'd you go? <laughs> no, uh, you find a washroom. Or you hold it for two, three days. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever works. Uh, what else? So all your kitchen, you do everything outside. What if it's... Everything uh... is out there, yeah. It's like, it's like having a tent, but it's definitely not a tent. Because yeah. it's not going to blow over. It's, it's more secure. You're, it's, like if uh, you're traveling. I'm not overly worried oh, about really? security. But I'm just more worried about uh, being blown over. I don't want to get wet. If yeah. it's raining like it is right now. Yeah. And 
Yeah, I, I'm tired of setting up tents. So okay. it's a little cargo trailer that keeps you dry and it holds everything that you need. Right on. Why did you want to set this up? Like what, what motivated you to get going on this instead of hoteling it or whatever you would have been doing before? Um, well, we still hotel it and all that, but um, when you're camping, I just didn't want to have to set up a tent. Like this is yeah. just, it's super easy. easy. It's light. Yeah. Um, it's easy to maneuver. It's a small trailer. Yeah. Um, and keeps you dry and holds all of your stuff. It holds your hand cycles. It holds your, um, if you need to have extra wheelchair gear for any reason or Front a bike. Front drives. Front drives. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all kinds of gear. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, James. Really appreciate that. James, Fun. James from Kelowna. Or is that okay if James I say from that? James from Kelowna. <laughs> right on. Thanks, Joe. So, James, just one more question, so that people know, um, so they can understand maybe what your level of ability is. What yeah. is your injury, and what level are you? T six, uh, Asia A, paraplegic. Thank you. Yeah.